You're watching Kids Reviews by Kids. For Kids, by Kids. Hi, my name is Shiana. Hi, my name is Isra. Welcome back to Kids Reviews by Kids. And today we're going to be doing something really cool. We are going to be learning how to code. And the website that we're going to be using is scratchmit.edu. So I'm going to tell you how to get there first. So you, I'm just going to quickly exit out and make a new tab. And then we're going to do scratch. And you're going to see it. You're going to be like scratch, scratch. And then you're going to press the enter button or return button. And then, so if you have an account, you just have to press this sign in button. But if you do not have an account, you have to press this join button and make a username and a password. But since I already have a username and password, I'm just going to kind of just quickly sign in, I guess. Let me just quickly see this. And we're going to press create, kind of. So first, we sign in, and then if you have an account, it's going to show um, the account that you have. And you're going to press, once you're in there, there's like you're going to see um, some people and what they're doing. And also, like, kind of what they, um, like, some projects that you like or that you want, or that they think you like or that you want to see. But it says featured featured projects i think so those like those you can press on but for now we're not going to look at those we're going to look on how to make um a project on scratch and um how to code so first you see when you um like get into scratch you see this scratch cat and um we're not going to be using the scratch cat we're actually gonna um delete this there's a trash can right here and you're gonna press the delete button and then next there's gonna be like a little cat here choose a sprite it says choose a sprite if you can see right there and we're not gonna be choosing a sprite but if you want to choose a sprite then you'll see there's many type of sprites that you can choose you can choose animals people fantasies and other types of stuff but we're not going to be choosing a sprite we're going to be making our own sprites so we're going to choose this paint button and we're going to be making an animation so first it actually um if you once you press um the paint button then you're going to see this costume and it says costume one and you're going to make something with that costume. So first we're gonna press this circle right here, if you can see the circle, and we're gonna press on that, and it says fill, and there's like purple right here, and we're gonna take this arrow and make a skin color for our character. So first we're going to kind of make it the right one. I and then we're gonna have our outline. Our outline is gonna be one, because we don't want it to be that big, kind of. So now we're gonna make the sprite. And you can use your arrow keys, but I'm just using my mouse. So if you use your arrow keys, you don't even have to use the mouse. But we're just gonna use our mouse to make it easier. So once you have that circle, just make it a little bigger. And then we're going to kind of move it from the screen. And you actually want to keep on saving it. Or else if you save it all the way at the end, your project is, um, it's going to, you're going to, it's probably going to take a long time to save or you're going to have to download it, which we do not want. So every time that save button pops up, you kind of have to press it. So first, when we have our circle, we're going to go to this arrow right here, a mouse kind of, it's called select. And we're gonna see, press this copy button. And then we're gonna press paste. And then when we have that, it has like a copy of it. So then we're gonna use that and we're going to make a hair color. My hair color is brown. So we're just gonna do brown hair. We're gonna make this look at like me kind of. And after you're done with that select button, you're gonna go to the shaping button, shaping tool, and you're gonna use it. So once we have that, um, 
once we have it, then we're going to um, use this circle and we're going to take this, you see this button right here? This little circle and we're going to push it up with our mouse. Then when we have that, for um, so f since I'm a girl, we're going to do a little square right here. Watch, a square. And then there's like this back button. You're going to press back and look what it shows. Uh, like hair. So now we're going to use the reshape button and a little bit reshape it like kind of hair. But for the boys, you can just actually kind of keep it like that and make it like this kind of. You can make it like that, but we're going to use, um, since I'm a girl, we're going to use that kind of. Okay, let me make this reshape it. And we're going to do the hair again. Do it back and make sure this one is a little bit better. Keep on reshaping it and then you have your little character's um, hair and face. But not the full face, just the skin color and the hair. So now actually there are different types of eyes. So the first one is like the lines going straight, you have to make, um, you know how it says one right here, outline, it's one, it's like the thickness is one, but we're gonna use 10. And then it's, and then we go like this, and then we have a perfectly straight line for our character. But there are also different kinds, like, let me delete this. There are also like, if we use if we use our paintbrush and put it to um, put it to black the color, and we just go like this, then we also have some type of eyes. And there's actually one more that you do circle eyes. Like you use the circle button, and then you make it ten thickness, I think, and then you go like this, like this, and you have your eyes. But I'm not really good at this one, so I'm gonna use the line one, the first one that I showed you. So let me use that one. If you wanna use the circle one, you can use it, or like the tiny dot, you can use whatever you want, but I'm just gonna use this one. And then, for the mouth, you're gonna make a straight line right here. It kind of looks like a weird face, but we're gonna make it into a smiley face with a reshape button right here it's a tool reshape see right here and we're gonna reshape it we're gonna take it from here and she has a nice smile so we're gonna use our arrow keys this time to put it a little bit up okay so now that we have our um face and hair we're gonna do the um, neck and the clothes so first we're gonna go back to the skin color and press the um, he head and then it shows up back to the same skin color so now we're going to use this skin color right here and then use the reshape button and make it kind of look like a neck oh that's not good let me do okay we're gonna if you want a no outline since I can do it like this it shows a line we're gonna press the outline button and do no outline so then it can kind of blend in. See, a neck, we have a neck. So let's do the other one. Oh, that's not gonna work. Let me try this one. Okay, I guess that kind of looks like a neck, but let me click on this. Okay, there we go. It's not the best, but it can do. So if you want to kind of make your um, clothes, we're going to press this square button and we're gonna do um, a clothes. So I think I want to do teal because that's my favorite color. And we're gonna make a square. This time we're gonna have our outline, make it black. And then we make the square, not too big, just a little bit. And we press this back button and uh, it doesn't really show up. So we're gonna go back to this um, um, like tool and then we're gonna put this back so then it kind of shows. So that we're gonna put the hair back. But if you're, if you're a boy, then you don't really have to struggle on that. So then we're gonna um, use this. And then now we're gonna do a different block. 
right there. And we're gonna make this kind of blend in. So we're gonna do no, no outline, and then we're gonna do the reshape button. So we're gonna do the reshape button, and we're gonna kind of make it into a little arm. If you can, like, not the arm, but like the t-shirt sleeves. Let's see. Okay, let me just lower this a little bit more. Oh, okay, there we go. So now that you have your first sleeve, what you want to do is, um, we're not going to copy and paste these, because if we do, look, if we copy and paste it, paste, then look what it does. If we use our arrow keys, it's going to show the opposite way, not the um, same. It's going to show the opposite way, not the same way. Look, see? It's not the same as this one, so I duplicated it too many times. Okay, so we're going to use it again. Let me quickly make this. Reshape tool. And there. It's like the same thing, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. So now for the hands, the like arms, we're gonna use the circle button and go back to this um, mouse. And we're gonna t um, put our mouse on the skin again so then it pops up like that. And I'm going to kind of make this with no lines. And I'm gonna make this a little bit like, I'm going to make the arm like this, and we're going to press the back button, and it's kind of like an arm now. So we're going to use, we're going to kind of keep it like this, but move it more here. Or if you want to do it, kind of not. You can actually put it like this. I'm going to put it like this for now, and we're going to copy and paste that, because it'll just look a little bit better but i also have like different kinds of hands just one more i don't really know that many i just know two kind of so you can also you can use this but you also if look if we um right click it let me right click or hmm it's not working i'll just show you right now um let me see Okay, so we're um you can just do a line for the hands, make it ten. You can just do a line for the hands, but I'm not going to do a line. So let me take that, and once you have the um girl ready, there um not the reshape button. Um, once you have the girl ready, like all of her ready. You want to move her up where the screen is so we can fit her pants. So now what uh, I want my pants to be, maybe let's do it, uh, hmm, we should do pink maybe. I don't know, it's kind of a different type. Okay, let's do, because a lot of our, let's do here, okay, outline. I'm going to do an outline. Okay, let me see. Okay, now we're going to use the reshape tool. And do it like this. And like that. So now we kind of have our pants or our shorts. I'm going to do pants. But first we got to group it. Group. It has a group button. We're going to group it. And now you can move all of it together. So we're going to kind of put this down a little bit. And so then we can kind of fit the pants. So let me kind of reshape this and make it a little bit bigger. Let's fit that. Let me do the same thing on the other leg. This one kind of look, this one kind of doesn't look as well as this one, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing that we did to get the skin back. So, oh, uh, let's ungroup it so then we can get the skin back, kind of. So now we're going to use this 
skin and we're gonna kind of make legs but if you want like shoes let's do a different color for the shoes let's make it cool shoes so um there's like this color there's like these different options there's like this one that has like uh one color but if you press on these others there's actually more colors so i'm going to be choosing this one like this one and i'm going to be choosing different colors for my shoes so there is like one cool thing that if you do this look it's kind of like tealish it's kind of like, watch, it's kind of invisible. <laughs> Look, see? So you can actually, if you want to use the invisible um, type of shoes, you are uh, you first got to put this uh, skin back so then they don't think that she doesn't have any feet. So I'm going to do that. Not the square button. You can actually use a square button if you're doing something else, but... I'm not going to be doing this square, but I'm just using the circles now. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing. Do back. See? Let's move this up a little bit. Same thing for this one. Go back to this mouse. And there. Okay, let me put this a little bit shorter. Okay, now we're going to be doing... Uh, let me go back here. Uh, I think I'm going to do purple shoes. I think I was going to do purple shoes. Okay, let me X this one out then. Okay, let me do this. Again, the feet kind of don't show, but when, it, like, when the clear part comes, it does. So there. So now you have the shoes. But it kind of, I don't really like it, so I guess I'm just going to use one color for the shoes. Because you can actually use, you can do whatever type you want, but I actually just like this type of. So now, um, I forgot to do the save button, but it kind of saved pretty quick, so that's good. So now, once you have your character ready, you want to actually group all of it. So you use, you use the mouse and then you pull from this side to the other. So we're going to do that right now. And then there's a group button. We're going to group it so then we can move it down wherever we want. But let's keep it there. Okay, so that was it for part one. Part two will be coming soon. Um, so the, in part two, we will be teaching you um, how to code the animation. Okay, guys, please hit the like button. See you next time. Bye. Please remember to subscribe.